Hey guys, my name is Alex. I'm an architect in London and in this video I thought I'd share with you guys my favorite features within Morfolio Trace App. And I only got into Morfolio Trace App quite recently and so far I have to say I'm pretty impressed by it because it does have certain features that I think are currently unmatched by any other drawing app or even BIM or CAD software. So the first feature that I like in Morfolio Trace the most is the ability to draw to scale. So if I go over here to custom, create blank, select the sheet size, a3 and then select the scale say 1 to 200. Now I have the ability using this ruler to draw to scale. So I drew this cabinet as an example and I can use the ruler to measure certain components of it or add more detail. The next feature that I enjoy is the ability to trace over the 3D image. So here I have previously created project that I have traced from different angles. The favorite thing about this is not the ability to trace over it per se, but it's that the Morfolio Trace app creates the automatic grid. That means that I can basically draw over and my perspective lines are going to be matched to the model exactly without me having to adjust anything manually. So what I usually do is I have SketchUp free version installed over here and I can export straight from the app in this Pixar format into the Morfolio Trace app without any problems. So I think that's quite a neat feature that is offered by this app. So the next cool feature is the ability to scale any drawing that you have drawn. So say for example if I had a creative inspiration and I have come up with this plan over here and I wanted to test if it actually works dimensionally, what I could do is I could invoke the scale option under the range tool over here, click set scale and then using this dimensional tool I can drag the extents input the dimension, say 20 meters, tap green tick, and there we go, scale is now registered. And I can use the ruler to once again scale the dimension. So it's about 12 meters wide. And I can also measure other bits and components of this plan here. Now, the next feature that I like is the ability to create layers. Now, obviously it's not a new feature. Other apps have this as well. But what Morfolio Trace have done differently is that they've created this ability to reduce the paper opacity or increase it. So it mimics the real world tracing paper in that sense. And you can also change the color of that paper to a bit more yellowy, which I think is quite a neat feature because typically it works the other way around that the bottom layers have to be reduced in opacity in order to make the top layer pop. Okay, so my next favorite feature is the super hatch. So if I hide these layers underneath and I click this button here, it invokes this option menu. I can then click on individual areas within the plan and it will show me the square meterage of that. And it will also sum them up over here in a little table that I can also copy on the clipboard so that I can export it to Word or Excel if necessary. And I can also, you know, add this hatch in so it's permanently hatched in. And I can also leave the text text in so that when I exit this, the square meterage text and the hatch also remains. Okay, so my next favorite feature is the ability to create stencils. So if I create a new layer on top and I click this button here, go to the settings and click on the template that I like to put in, I can then scale that up or down, I can flip it, I can lock the scale or rotation and then I can use the bucket tool and pick the color to fill that in. I can also use any of these brushes to basically go over the stencil. Sometimes it creates quite a cool effect. Now we can also create our own stencils. If we go to settings and click the plus sign, we can load in the image from the library and it has to be black and white for it to work. Some of these stencils have a scale bar applied to them. So if I go to interiors and I pick one of these furniture templates, I can see that there is little scale bar on the bottom and what I can actually do is I can align it with the drawing scale bar on the bottom. So over here you now can see that this stencil is matched with the scale bar on the bottom of the paper. I can then lock the stencil so I can move it around without changing the scale of it, pick the position and then using one of these brush tools I can color that portion of the stencil in that I want to see on the drawing. So next up we have the ability to draw over the map. So if we open the map, type in the location pick a spot that we want to draw over, hit this tick in green, and that will basically load up a new sheet with the satellite image as an underlay. And then using the above layer, we can then trace it over to create a landscape design proposal or perhaps a master plan. I personally think that this feature is amazing because the ease with which you can do this is, I think, unmatched by other software. There's no need to export from Google Earth. You can just do all of this in the app. And as well, the scale of this drawing is completely preserved. So this is all to the scale can be measured. The next feature that I like is the ability to create a 
multi-page PDF. And to access that, we tap on this little button over here. And this brings up this menu that basically allows us to create new sheets or duplicate the existing sheets. We can delete the sheets and we can add the new ones. And what it means is that we can basically create a full drawing pack. And then once we are done, we can export this whole PDF as a multi-page PDF in order to share it or print it with others without having to combine the PDF later on. If you like this video, then you'll love this video over here that takes you through the basic steps of how to use Morfolio Trace app in order to create your first architectural drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.